A fall city extremist eviction throws spotlight on sovereign citizen movement. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It's a free way to support the show here at the Common Sense Academy. We follow sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and people behaving badly. Also, check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. You can find a link to it in the description below. Before we dig into this June 23rd, 2022 article so it is about a month old raise your cup your glass in the air it's time for the same time sip cheers with me sip with me it tastes better when we sip together today everyone i'm down to water i am down to water deer park tell me what's your favorite flavor of bottled water cheers Okay, let's take a look at this woman. Yep, she looks like a sovereign citizen. Uh, this fall city is in the state of Washington. Looks like outside of Seattle. The article is from the Seattle Times. As King County Sheriff's deputies set up roadblocks, turning around logging trucks, semis, and cars, the agency's Guardian One helicopter circled a farmhouse from the air. We have an order signed by a judge. One of the pilots said over a loudspeaker, ordering those inside to come out with their hands up. You are now surrounded by the King County Sheriff's Office. You have nowhere to go. We know how much a judge's order means to a sovereign citizen. Crisis negotiators tried to make contact by phone, but their calls were disconnected. A tactical team swept through outbuildings and an RV, finding no one. One man ran from the farmhouse and deputies quickly arrested him, but a woman remained inside. An explosive charge boomed, reducing the back door to wood splinters and glass shards. Then the tactical team fired tear gas rounds through the front window, the chemical irritant finally forcing the woman outside. The hour-long standoff this month, last month, marked Terry Somm's second eviction from her foreclosed four-acre property, which was sold at auction in January. Here we have a visual uh, King County Sheriff's TAC, or SWAT team, unit outside the home where Terry Somm was evicted for a second time. Sheriff's officials learned of her involvement in the sovereign citizen movement and found an untraceable ghost gun the first time around. So they weren't taking any chances when they returned to remove her from the white wood-sided house on southeast Fall City Snoqualmie Road. Some of those weird names up in Washington. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Although Psalm disavows the term sovereign citizen as an oxymoron, her ideology clearly aligns with the extremist anti-government movement that has, taken, has been deeply rooted in Washington since its beginnings in the 1970s, said Mark Pitcavage, a senior research fellow with the Anti-Defamation League's Center on Extremism. The movement is alive and well in Washington. There's a rich history there, he said in a phone interview from Ohio. It's unknown how many of the roughly 300,000 adherents across the country live in Washington. I would have to say uh, that number is from a couple of years ago. Um, I'd be surprised if it hasn't at least doubled, but possibly tripled. But whether they now call themselves American state nationals or American citizens, they share the same core belief that local, state, and federal governments have no authority over their lives. If only that were the case. We would have anarchy everywhere. And they use the same tactics to intimidate, harass, or retaliate against those who cross them. With a history of instigating violent confrontations with law enforcement, members of the sovereign citizen movement, no matter how they identify, are still considered a threat to officer safety. As Psalm sat handcuffed in the back seat of a sheriff's SUV, she vowed to return to the land she believes she has the right to occupy. Do you actually think it's justice taking place here today? I'm a 65-year-old woman who's told them the truth over and over again. They don't listen, she told the Seattle Times, referring to sheriffs, deputies, and court officials. What people think of as their government is not their government. It's an illegal corporation, and they steal from you every single day. Uh, 
Psalm is a follower of Anna Maria Riesinger. This is uh, a section of the paragraph article titled Sovereign Citizen Roots and Beliefs. A follower of Anna Marie Riesinger, a self-proclaimed judge from Big Lake, Alaska, who goes by Anna Von Rietz. She's posted hundreds of articles and videos that purport to educate people about their stolen freedoms and the paperwork they need to file to protect themselves from supposed government criminals. Less than a week after Psalm was arrested June 2nd for criminal trespass and obstructing law enforcement, the two women recorded a split-screen video discussion about Psalm's eviction and her plan to fight it in court. Which court? The fake court? The same washed-out facsimile of an American flag with blue stars and red stripes on a white background hung behind them. Deep in their hearts, they're, they know what they're doing is wrong, deluded, <laughs> Von Reet said of the sheriff's armed response to Psalm's removal to leave her former home. They are going to pay and pay dearly before this is done. Uh, I, fortunately, unfortunately, that's likely the truth because the courts all around the country um, are, are nailing sovereign citizens. I mean, they're launching them. Um, this goes into, you know, a bit of uh, history, the sovereign citizen movement, um, and some of the stuff that they believe. We can see here uh, the, the, the perfectly valid and legal license plate that this woman had. The homemade Washington license plate on the back of Terry Soms Pathfinder SUV found on the property she has been evicted from in Fall City. It does say financially desperate people uh, make up the bulk of sovereign citizens. That's true. And the movement's ranks tend to grow during hard economic times, as was the case during the Great Recession. Though the sovereign citizen movement was born in the U.S., it spread to Canada in the mid-1990s, then Australia, New Zealand, and the U.K. before cropping up in recent years in other European countries. And let's not forget, as far away as Singapore. If this has appeal to people who want to get out from underneath the government, to get something for nothing, to get out of debt, whatever you want personally, it offers you that. That's true. Tactics include paper terrorism. Salman Reed's characterized the sheriff's response as an overreaction. Pick Cabbage said sheriff's officials were right to take every precaution as confrontations with sovereign citizens often result in spontaneous violence. And I would say that that's true, and it documents uh, some of the issues here. Um, this is, let's see if we can get this in full view. Um, this is a map of, in a little timeline of the evictions that um, they placed on this woman. Let me see if I can, if I can get a good view of this. Crap, uh, I had to decrease the size. So we'll scroll up here. King County's... Um, Sheriff's officials set up roadblocks and deployed tactical teams and a helicopter crew to evict a Fall City woman. Think about the taxpayer dollars that these people are costing us. For a second time, due to concerns that carrying out the routine civil legal process could turn violent, ultimately the woman, a member of the sovereign citizen movement, was taken into custody and the property was turned over to the new owner. Yeah, after a standoff... Um, only after a standoff and after they had to use explosives to blow the door open and flood the house with tear gas. Two evictions in three months. One of Psalm's Fall City neighbors said Psalm removed her mailbox several years ago, began spouting uh, far-right rhetoric, put a fake license plate on her car, and bragged about the lawsuits she'd filed, which were all dismissed for lack of evidence. As a result, neighbors stopped inviting her to gatherings. Then, all of a sudden, she started hosting these meetings with these militia types, said the neighbor, who spoke on condition of anonymity because he fears becoming a target of retaliation. It was a scary group, and you'd see 20 or 30 cars pa parked out there every Saturday or Sunday. Psalm, who purchased the three-bedroom farmhouse in 2004, stopped paying her mortgage in 2017. The bank foreclosed on the property last October according to court and property records. The property was sold at auction in January for $699,000, and the new owner discovered Psalm and several other people were still living there. I mean, why? Why did you buy it? I guess at an auction, you don't always see the property that you're getting. I have to say, it looks like a nice, uh, quaint, and inviting house. 
Um, I imagine it's a large property considering the $700,000 price tag because that house alone doesn't seem to support that price tag. The owner obtained a civil court order known as an un unlawful detainer, and members of the sheriff's civil unit went to the property in April to evict Somme, according to an incident report. She refused to come outside, and deputies forced entry and told her she had 24 hours to leave with her belongings. Deputies found an unregistered, untraceable gun, which they disabled and returned, according to the report. While detectives were waiting for movers to arrive that same day, multiple people showed up claiming to be sovereign citizens, there to protect Terry's rights and defend her freedoms. Oh, man. According to civil detectives, these individuals were even more confrontational and seemed versed in the sovereign citizen movement. Nothing like coming to a gunfight armed with your fake words. Som broke back into the house two days later and resumed living there, forcing the owner to return to court to obtain a second eviction order. Concerned that evicting Som a second time could turn violent, the sheriff's office formed a tactical plan to safely remove her from the farmhouse and ensure her cohorts couldn't reach the property to provide reinforcements. Holy moly! My biggest fear was going into this was that a person or persons given their political ideology would force an armed confrontation, that they'd begin shooting at us or destroying property, said one of the tactical team sergeants, who, like others who participated in the eviction, asked not to be named to protect themselves and their families from becoming paper terrorism targets. Good on you. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Maybe she fell on financial hardship and this ideology gave her hope. From the time the Sheriff's Guardian 1 helicopter was airborne over the scene, it took about an hour before Som was handcuffed and put in the back of the patrol SUV. The property owner hired a crew of workers and wasted no time clearing out the house as he dumped wine and liquor down from the sink and loaded empty bottles, tea towels, and kitchen utensils into garbage bags. The owner said he had arranged to board up the house and have someone stay there around the clock to ensure Som can't get back in. The 42-year-old Lake Stevens man, who also asked not to be named because of concerns about retaliation, said Som refused his $10,000 offer to leave. Wow! after her first eviction and was absolute in her beliefs. Boy, she should have taken the $10,000 and gone. She actually earned $10,000 by being a sovereign citizen. <laughs> the whole anti-government thing doesn't sit well with me, he said. I think we all have our part to play in society, love it or hate it. I feel bad for her because she's confused and she's lost and now she's homeless. Boy, I don't know if truer words could be said i mean what a what a waste of money what a waste of time for the sheriffs what a waste of taxpayer dollars oh she lives right across from a golf course hmm no wonder it's seven hundred thousand dollar property um there's there's the license plate uh you know it's hard not to feel bad for this woman i mean she's been completely misled uh it doesn't look like the tear got tear gas got her too bad because she looked to be in uh decent condition there if that's taken after the fact i'm going to have to um tune in and watch some of these videos from her and the judge let's do a quick look over here Oh, here we go. Here we go. This page is an index of the writings of Judge Anna Von Reitz from Big Lake, Alaska. It's actually a cool looking flag. I mean, if it's a sovereign citizen flag, it's nonsense. But um, I like cool looking flags. I like maps. I like stuff like that. <laughs> you are probably not a U.S. citizen. What does that mean for your taxes? Break free from the IRS right now what worries me the most about these what worries me the most is right here donate donate the money the people are giving these people my god look at all these posts 500 uh, where where are we going if you understand this this is unbelievable i mean there's thousands of she must have thousands of posts here look at this 3,767. Let's tap into a video real quick just to get a taste. Bearer bonds canceled. These are not YouTube videos. Perpetual war theory. Uh, we find that the European nations are largely still occupied 
by American and allied forces. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, I guess she meets out law from her kitchen, and it looks like her husband, who um, just sort of sits there and watch. Maybe, um, you know, maybe she's the stronger personality in this relationship. But, but a sad, sad story. We got this judge up here in Canada. I got to say, Canada is representing when it comes to sovereign <laughs> citizens. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content, the Common Sense Academy, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm here to shine a light on the sovereign citizen movement. Call it what it is. Listen, I, I consider myself um, a right-leaning moderate, um, but th th I believe that the government has a role to play. And... Um, and <laughs> And this sovereign citizen ideology is nonsense. Don't take it this far. Do not do it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer, where you get some more straight legal content. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. Have a great day.